new day out here in the shop. Um, crap, I lost track of the days. I think it's like day 13, something like that. Good old lucky 13. I got stuck. I didn't have everything that I needed, so I put some stuff on order. This cool little emergency stop switch. And it is pretty cheesy. Cheaply made for sure, but uh, it came with both positions, normally open or normally closed. You can wire it up either way. And if we see right here, look at that. It almost looks like the picture I drew. figure out a good spot to mount this sucker up where it's not gonna get bumped too much. But other thing that happened, went to Lowe's this morning and picked up another light. I had to go ahead and close my garage doors now. It's getting cold out there and that means less light for the camera. So it's a little bit smaller than this guy right here that I've been using. Could work as a good fill light. 10 watts, then I can get light from both sides, and then I also have that little spotlight somewhere around here. I'll find it. Anyways, also got some uh, wire management stuff, good old fashioned zip ties. Also got these little guys right here. Hopefully help me route the plasma lead around the table a little bit better. And got some smaller ones here too. Hopefully I can run some of the other cables and whatnot through it and get this thing wired up. Okay, barely starting to get some stuff buttoned up here. I've got this IGIS cable track now secured on both ends right here and again right down there. And I think it looks pretty nice, guys. Um, everything really tucked in there really nice. I have the motor leads on one side and the plasma lead on the other side. There's like a little divider inside that IGIS track. So I have the whole gantry now pulled all the way to this far end of the table. That way, make sure that all my wire leads going back to that corner have enough length on them. So now, I need to figure something out to get these to kind of sit up here together. That little deal can go over the top. Hopefully hold all that stuff in check there. And also, install that little light up here get rid of some of the shadows and I think it looks pretty good good picture quality what do you think not too bad right for inside no natural light let's keep working our way down this end of the table something with this I just track chain something like that it's I G U S is all I know anyways um, it actually sits in this track right here um, so you may be wondering why I've got it lined up all the way off the end of the table this way and it's because these little flaps right here that you toggle up and down to open this thing up and close it are on only on one side and we need this whole eye just chain here to wrap over this way and then run you know it'll kind of unroll itself in and out of here um, it may not make a whole lot of sense you guys just got to trust me this is the best way I could come up with to get this in here so I'm hoping that once I get all this nice and locked down in here all these closed up that this whole chain with the cable and everything intact will roll easily back into that track right back there. Um, that's the theory anyways. We're going to see if it actually works or not. Um, but I've got the lead for the plasma and the lead for the motors all run back in here. I taped them up with some electrical tape, stuffed them in here nice and clean. 
And now I just have this last little bundle of mess down here that I think I should have plenty to get down into my hardware cabinet and plug in everywhere I need to in this sucker right here. Figuring this out as I go along, found these nice little uh, straps here that seem to hold this stuff on there pretty good. Got all these cables all reduced down into this one little strap and then back around into the chain. So I'm gonna go ahead and close all these up and I'm hoping that this will slide a little bit inside of there while I go ahead and finagle it back into there and uh, hopefully get it screwed down. Also, I had to take off this little uh, flapping toggle here to feed these back in there. So I just open up the front of it, flip it up, stick a screwdriver down in this little gap and you can pop it right off and then it slides right back on again after you get everything run through there because this hole right here isn't quite big enough to feed that big end of the plasma cutter right there and I had to drill wallow these holes out a little bit because the hardware that came with the precision plasma kit was not long enough to feed through this and this clip so I had these little gold deals left over from another project and I had to open up the holes a little bit to make it work. So far, this is the only piece in the whole kit that did not work. So, you know, I gotta say that's pretty impressive, honestly, that uh, all these parts, all these pieces of hardware, all this shit came in a box, uh, with very little instructions, just some blueprints that we got sitting over here. And the only thing that really was a bust on it was these bolts were just a little bit too short. You know, I'm not really gonna be that picky. They, uh, they removed a lot of obstacles out of this uh, between the two, precision plasma and C and CNC. So I don't really wanna complain too much about that, but full disclosure, that did not work on the kit. So I don't feel burned by it. Let's see if we can get this sucker all closed up all the way down there and then finagled back into place where we want it. I think I'm all done and I do a quick test cycle of the gantry right down here and of course this I just chain right here is too short and man I feel like a dingus right now because my homie right here I don't know if you can see this anyways Panther City Plasma on Instagram he has a table just like this so I asked him like hey man uh, can you send me some pictures of your wiring and he sent me some pictures in a DM and he told me even, make sure that you leave enough of that I just chain slack in there for the long side of your table. So um, I was forewarned and I just forgot out here. But uh, let me show you what we're talking about. So this chain, I already screwed it down right here at the end and I was all happy thinking I was done. But what happens here, at the end before it cycles back the gantry runs into it so I need to cut it loose down there and slide the whole thing backwards to give this a little bit more chain to roll up behind here you know shit happens <laughs> Sorry for the horror film light we got going on here, but uh, bear with me. I crawled underneath the plasma table so we could take a look at kind of how the wiring is going to run through here and see what kind of mess we can clean up. Tried to push everything back through here. These are all my motor leads, and this is the plasma lead right here.
And there you have it, guys. Y1, Y2, X, and Z. Those are my four motors. I also have the option to add a fifth axis motor here. Um, I originally had that fifth motor reserved for a tube cutter, but I've got a different way of approaching that. That, uh. <clears throat> yeah, that's about all I can say about that right now. Anyways, um, so still got some nice space back here to feed all my other wires in, computer stuff. I need to start getting some of those little uh, boxes like the torch height control and what goes from here to there and stuff down in here and start hooking it up and kind of just figuring out what I'm going to do for cable management.